S Pod HD overview. On the initial boot up, there are three lights above each switch. They will flash sequentially, letting you know that the system is booting up. There are three indicator lights above each switch. The red indicator light lets you know that the switch is turned on. The red light will turn off when you push the button again to turn off the switch. There is a blue light which indicates that you are physically using the switch. It is a visual feedback letting you know that the switch is being used. Activating the flash or strobe mode. Open up the SPOD Bantam app. Select the switch you want to program. Assign it a strobe or flash function. Push the button normally to turn on the light. The steady white indicator shows that the function is normal. Hold the button in for a half a second and it will go into strobe or flash mode. How to use the dimming feature. The dimming feature is selectable by going in and programming that switch function for dimmable. Push the button on normal. Hold the button in until you get the desired dimness you want and release the button. To bring the brightness back up, push the button in and hold it in until you get the brightness you'd like. How to use the link feature. Go to the app, go to setup, select link and click, and click the switches that are going to be assigned to the master switch. When the master switch is set up, it will act as a, a master switch to control the other switches. By pushing that single switch, it operates the other ones. Each switch will still be able to be operated individually. On the Bantam app, you can go to Setup and select Switch HD. Here's where you can program your switch colors, background colors, and the dimness of each of the, the switches. You can also set your timer, too, for the backlighting when you want to turn off. By sliding the, the green, red, or blue sliders, you can adjust the backlighting color. And you can also control the brightness of them as well. Adjusting the indicator brightness. Same thing, go to Switch HD Setup. The lower indicator slider bar is what you use to adjust the three indicator lights brightness. This is how you turn off the backlighting. By simply pushing switches 6 and 7 simultaneously, you can turn off the backlights. To reactivate it, push any switch to turn it back on. Your indicator lights will still be available and lit up, but it just turns off the backlighting. There's a panel lockout feature. By pushing switches 7 and 8 simultaneously, it will lock the keypad. Pushing any of the buttons will not activate any switches. To unlock it, push switches 7 and 8 again to unlock the keypad. You could also toggle between multiple sources. If you have more than one source, the switch panel can control multiple sources. By pushing switches 5 and 8 simultaneously, you could toggle between source 1, 2, 3, four, or toggle it back to source number 1. Remember, if you only have one source, always leave it on source number 1. Out of the box, you, don't, you do not have to pair up with the Switch HD. It will automatically pair up with it. There's nothing else you have to do. If you do want to secure your system and you don't want other people to log on to it, you could do this by these following instructions here.
by unplugging the back of the switch panel and plugging it back in while holding in the selection button that you want, B1, B2, or B5, and holding in the button and not letting go until the system's completely booted up puts it into the pairing mode. Once you do this and you start the app, a dialog box will come up and you'll have to go into pairing mode with it and select the pin number and enter the pin number for that panel. Doing it over here on B2 will open up the system and put it back to default where anybody could connect to it without a pin. Doing button B5, this will lock out the switch panel and only allow only one single device to connect to it. And you will have to enter a pin number. Using the Bantam app to pair the Switch HD. While it's searching for the device, what you're looking for is your, your switch panel. Select it, hit cancel at this, this uh, dialog box here, wait for the six digit pairing number in the upper left hand corner by our logo to appear. When the pairing box request appears, put in the six numbers, then touch the pair button. Confirm in the lower left-hand corner that your Switch HD